This is the performance appraisal form which I have created in advance. I have created this file in Word, means MS Word. Let's see how it's going to work. On the top, I have got employee details like name of the employee, employee ID, designation and so on. Suppose I have got an employee list of 200 people and in the end of the year, I have to generate 200 performance appraisal forms where all the details of the employee should be there in all the forms. Only the part which is below or down will be inserted manually. So if I'll insert the things manually in each and every form, it's going to take lots of time. So we are going to generate performance appraisal form in bulk and we are going to do this with the help of Excel file. I'll show you the Excel file. This is the Excel file where I have got all the details of the employees. Based on this, we are going to generate all our performance appraisal forms. Let's start creating a new form now. The employee details which I'll need in my appraisal form are employee ID, employee name, designation, reporting manager, department, location, date of joining, total experience, present CTC per month and present CTC per annum. In case you need any other data in your performance appraisal form, you can put it over here. Now I'll open a new MS Word file. This is a blank MS Word file. We will go in layout. We will come in the left hand side in margins and we will select narrow. Before creating the format, we will create our head. So we will go to insert shapes and we'll select square or rectangle. We'll click over here. We'll go to shape format, shape fill, and from here, I'll select a desired color. We'll click over here and we'll select no outline. Now I'll drag this and we'll drag on top also. Means we will manage the size. We will take this little bit up. We'll go to insert text box, draw a text box. We'll click over here. Now we will click over here. We'll drag this. Over here, we will type name of our company. We'll go to home and we'll change the font style. We'll make it bold. We'll increase the font size. Now we will take this on top. We'll press control and arrow will be visible. We will keep on pressing control and we'll drag it down. And a copy of text box will be created. We'll click on first text box. We'll go to shape format, shape fill, and we will select no fill from here. Now we will click over here and we'll select no outline. Now we will change the font color. We'll go to home and from here we will change the font color. We will change the font color of tagline also. We'll increase the size a little bit more. Perfect. We will take this to right side. Now we will go to insert pictures, picture from file and I'll select my logo and we'll click on insert. Our logo got hidden and we can't drag this. So we'll click on our logo, we'll right click the mouse. When we come down, we get the option of wrap text. From here, we will select in front of text. Now we can place our logo at our desired place. We'll resize the logo, perfect. We'll go to insert once again, shapes. And from here, we will select this shape and we'll click over here. We'll increase the size of the shape and we'll rotate it. We'll increase the size a little bit more. We'll go to shape format shape fill and we'll select the color as red outline as no outline now we will click on the shape we'll right click the mouse save as picture we'll rename this as red shape and we'll click on save now we will delete this we'll go to insert pictures picture from file and this is the shape what we have saved right now we'll click on insert we'll click on the shape we'll right click the mouse wrap text in front of text we'll take this down we'll go to shape format crop and we'll crop the shape perfect we'll crop it a little bit more crop and we'll crop from this side perfect we'll click on the shape we'll press ctrl and we'll drag it down so a duplicate copy will be created we'll go to picture format we'll come in the center over here we get the option of rotate objects i'll click over here Rotate vertical. Now we will place our shapes over here. We'll take this up. We'll click over here and we'll take this on top. You can create any design of your choice or you can put your company letter head over here. Now we will change this. We'll delete this. This will be mail ID. I'll put my mail ID over here. Enter phone number. 
will put my phone number will resize the text box will reduce the font size and will take this on top now we will go to shape format shape fill and from here we will select no fill outline as no outline we'll go to home and we'll change the font color we'll take this up and we'll take this to little bit left side we'll take logo little bit down perfect so our letter head is ready now now we will create our performance appraisal form we'll double click over here and we'll type performance appraisal form dash year 2023 Dash two zero two four. We'll select this, and we'll take this in center. We'll change the font style. We'll make it bold. We'll increase the font size. We'll underline this, and we'll change the font color. Now we will click over here. Now we will go to Insert Table. From here we will select two columns and five rows. This will be name of the employee. we we'll select this or we can click over here also and all the things will be selected we'll go to home we'll change the font style we'll do as times new roman we'll decrease the font size we'll keep it as 12 employee id designation date of joining we'll right click the mouse insert rows below so this will be reporting manager We'll take this line closer. We'll go to layout, draw table, and over here we will draw a table. We'll click next to employee ID means over here. This will be department, location, total experience, current CTC. Let's keep experience as EXP so that we can save some space. We'll go to draw table, and we'll draw a line over here. Perfect. So this part is done now. We will go to Insert Table, and from here we will click on Insert Table. Number of columns, I just want two, and number of rows. As of now, I'll keep it ten or twelve. If required, we can insert more. We'll take this closer. This will be A. We'll select all. We'll go to Home, and we'll change the font style. We'll adjust the font size. We'll select the whole row. and we'll change the color this will be key responsibilities in bracket we will take to be filled by reporting manager we will select the whole row and we'll take all the things in center we'll go to layout and we'll increase the height of the row we'll put serial number i think 4 is more than enough now we will copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v we'll select the whole row and we'll put some color we'll take all the things in center we'll go in home and we'll take all the things in center we'll make this bold we'll make this bold too size of the row over here is 0.71 so we will make this as 0.71 perfect we'll put serial number over here also while coming down press down arrow key not enter heading of this will be employees strength and this will be b we will click just under 4 and we select the whole row we'll change the color we'll increase the row size so this will be c we'll select this we'll go to home and we'll make it bold this will be employees evaluation self and manager we'll select this and we'll take this in center we'll click in empty row we'll right click the mouse insert rows below we'll insert few more rows if required we can delete extra rows later on so this will be serial number we'll click right arrow key particulars we'll go to layout draw table and over here we will draw a line So table got created we'll click outside this will be self evaluation we'll go to layout draw table and we'll draw a line over here we'll draw a line just under self evaluation and over here also 
in the center also we will draw a line and over here we will draw a line perfect we will click outside the table we will select this and we will take all the things in center by going in home so this is self evaluation and this is manager's evaluation the ratings will take from 0 to 5 bracket close and this will be comments we will copy both control c or command c but before that we will take this in center now we will paste it over here control v or command v we will take both in center serial number 1 2 3 4 5 over here we will select two cells we will go to layout and we will merge the cells so this will be total ratings we will merge two cells over here also this will be overall performance we will select all the cells over here and we will merge together we will select this and we will put some color we will go to home or we will go to table design shadings and from here i will select a desired color over here also i will put some different color shadings and i will select light green color over here also i will put some color now i will select all we will go to layout and from here i will take all the things in mid we will put some color over here table design shadings and over here also i will put some different color for particulars i will take the details from my example file in case we will type it manually it is going to take lots of time because in particulars whatever you want to put you can i have copied my first head we will click over here we will right click the mouse paste and the row size got adjusted automatically so in the same way i'll paste all the things so i pasted all the things in the left hand side at bottom we can see page one of two so another page got created and we don't want to create another page so we will adjust the column size perfect we will adjust column sizes over here also we will select both of these we'll go to layout and we'll increase the height we'll select all the particulars we'll go to home and we'll take all the things in left so now it's page one of one. Now we will save this file before creating our bulk files. Performance appraisal form. I'll rename this as new. Save. So this file got saved. Now let's create in bulk. We will click on name of the employee. We'll go to mailing tab. In the center, most of the things are inactive right now. We will go to start mail merge. We'll click on labels. Over here, we can see product number. We will leave it as half letter and we'll do OK. Mail merge, we will do OK. All the things will vanish. You have to do Ctrl Z or Command Z. Select recipients, I'll close this. Now we will come to select recipients. Create a new list or use an existing list. I'll click on use an existing list. This is my Excel file, Office Monk employee details. I'll click on open. Microsoft Word. This file needs to be opened by the Excel workbook. We will do yes. My Excel file has only one tab. So it's showing Excel details over here. If you will have multiple tabs, you can click on the drop down and select the desired tab. Now I'll do OK. So most of the things got active in the center now. I'll close this. Now I'll click in front of name of the employee. We'll go to insert merge field. And from here I'll select employee name. Employee ID, insert merge field, we'll select employee ID. Designation, we'll go over here. Whatever heads you have inserted in your Excel file, all the heads will be visible over here. So I'll select designation, joining date, date of joining, reporting manager, reporting manager. So I'm just selecting all the details. I just click in front of each department and then selected desired heads, location. Total experience, current CTC. Perfect. We'll close this. So our target is to create performance appraisal for all the employees individually. So all the things are connected now. If we want to preview, we can click over here and we can see details of Albert. If we will click on next, we can see details of Alexander. And in the same way, we can see details of all the employees. Now the final step is pending and that is finish and merge. Edit individual documents, print documents. We have to click on edit individual documents. And our documents are getting created over here. 
earlier it was 1 of 1 now it's 1 of 21 let's go down and check perfect let's go on top and save this as pdf or as word choice is totally yours we'll go on top file save as performance appraisal form and from here i'll select pdf best for electronic distribution or best for printing i'll keep as best for electronic distribution and we'll click on export seems i have got file with the same name i'll cancel this and we'll rename this as new export files are getting exported now let's see how our file looks like so these are the forms which we have created right now first one is of albert when we come down alexander aston and so on last page is blank doesn't matter you can remove it so in this way you can create appraisal forms in bulk I'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye bye.